<coughs> Hi there, this uh, video looks at how to calculate break even. Um, we are just coming into this section here uh, where there will be a series of videos on uh, break even analysis. So, first of all, um, it's going to help to clarify exactly what we mean by break even. So, break even is uh, the number of units that a business needs to sell so it makes neither a profit nor a loss. Now, um, what we mean by units is, is whatever it is that the business um, produces. It might be if it's a software developer, they produce apps maybe, or if it's a um, car factory, they produce cars. If it's a coffee shop, they produce cups of coffee. Um, the break-even output is the number of whatever it is that it makes that it needs to sell so that its total revenue, i.e. the money that it gets from selling uh, those goods, are equal to the total cost of producing those goods. In other words, the business isn't making a profit or a loss. Um, so why is this level of output important? Um, well, below this level of output, the business is likely to be making a loss. In fact, the business will be making a loss if it uh, produces and sells below its break-even point. Um, if it produces above its break-even point and can sell all of those units, it will be making a profit. So that's one reason it's important. Um, conducting a break-even analysis, where we work out where the break-even point is, um, can help a business uh, because it will analyse if that business is viable or not. If uh, we need to sell, you know, 40,000 units to break even and we're predicting that we'll sell 10,000 units, then obviously that's probably not a um, going concern as a business and we wouldn't want to start that business. It's going to help us set sales targets for, us, for our staff. So if we know that we need to sell 500 uh, t-shirts to break even, we will um, set ourselves the target of, of selling you know, 800 t-shirts. Um, to ensure that, that we meet our break-even point and can make a profit. It might help us to gain investment if we've undertaken a thorough break-even analysis. Potential investors would want to see this. Um, it would help us to set the correct selling price so we know that, you know, we know that we can uh, make enough revenue to cover our costs. Um, it um, allows us to test assumptions conducting a break-even analysis. So what would happen if the impact of raw material costs increased by 20%, something that has happened to many businesses following uh, the uh, devaluation of the pound uh, since um, Brexit. So uh, the first method of calculating break-even that you need to be aware of is doing so by a formula. And the formula is very simple, it's fixed cost divided by contribution per unit. Um, contribution per unit is calculated by uh, subtracting the selling price from uh, the variable cost per unit from the selling price. Uh, so I'll talk about contribution a little bit more in a minute, but the um, key thing to remember is that you can calculate the break-even output with a formula, and that formula is fixed cost divided by contribution per unit. So let's just take a very simple example here. Let's say we've got a business with fixed costs of 40,000. Uh, we've got variable costs of 20 pounds per unit. We've got a selling price of 40 pounds per unit. It's very simple figures here. Um, we could put them together in a chart that looks a bit like this. Uh, what does this show us? Um, this shows us um, in this first column here, we have uh, the different outputs we might be producing. Um, from a thousand units, uh, well, from no units up to four thousand, the fixed costs remain constant. Remember, the definition of fixed costs is costs that remain, uh, costs that do not change regardless of output. Variable costs of twenty pounds per unit. If we're making a thousand cricket bats, a thousand times twenty equals twenty thousand. Um, total costs is fixed cost plus variable costs. And the total revenue is how much money we get from selling all 1,000 units. 1,000 times 40 equals 40,000. Now, it's quite easy to see from this that the break-even level of output is actually going to be 2,000 units because that, at that point, um, the fixed costs and variable costs equal 80,000. That's our total cost. 
and if we sell 2,000 cricket bats or whatever it is for £40 a unit, that is going to give us a total revenue of 80,000. Therefore, 2,000 is uh, what we need to sell to break even. Um, we're making a loss at any level of output below. If we sell 1,000 uh, you know, units, that uh, you can see that the costs outweigh the revenue, um, which is a loss, but when we sell more, the revenue starts to outweigh the costs and we make a profit. Um, so, um, there's the formulas again. Let's just put some numbers in there. So the contribution per unit um, is uh, going to be from the figures that we talked about earlier. So the selling price was 40, the variable cost per unit was 20. That gives us a uh, contribution per unit of 20. Um, we put that into our formula, fixed cost divided by contribution per unit. Uh, 40,000 divided by 20 equals 2,000. Okay, that's 2,000 units. We're, we're taking numerical, we're taking numbers, 40,000, uh, divide that by 20, that gives us um, 2,000, and we express the break even output in units, of course, and we've seen that on the graph. Um, I'll talk a little bit more about what contribution per unit is in a subsequent. Uh, video and uh, why it's important but uh, the key message from this one one of the ways that you can calculate break-even is simply by using the formula